Socotra is a truly modern core platform for the insurance industry, delivering robust functionality across the entire policy lifecycle. They aim to empower global insurance and insurtech startups to rapidly launch, integrate and scale innovative insurance products with minimal effort and expense. Their Socotra app marketplace is the first cloud-native software app marketplace for insurers, reducing time to market from months to minutes. The app enables insurers to eliminate integration projects and add new solutions and services in minutes. Today, they will tell you more about their marketplace. Next on stage, Socotra. Hello, I'm Dan Woods from Socotra. This is my colleague, Victor Fate, and um, Socotra, in case, for anyone who might not be aware, is the first ever policy admin system that's modern, like for real modern. If that's new to you, if you're skeptical, visit our booth, visit our website, visit YouTube, and watch presentations from here at DIA from previous years. Today, we're going to be talking less about what Socotra does and talking about how Socotra connects because we're entering the rapid connection era of insurance IT, where monoliths are the past and ecosystems are the future. And most people know that. They already know that, but they don't necessarily know what it looks like. Even though most of us carry the answer in our pockets or purses every day right here. Um, this is a best of breed machine that creates enormous value with dozens of vendors coming together to create a comprehensive whole that's continually upgrading, creating great value and so forth. From from Slack to Salesforce, from Zoom to Google Accounts, there is no greater engine for innovation than the app marketplace. And today, we are going to show the first ever app marketplace for the insurance industry. Empty browser. We're going to go to marketplace.sacocha.com. Why? Because this is live. Anyone can pull out a phone, device, go to marketplace.sacocha.com yourself. Unless you're Sacocha, a customer, or a user with an account in any way, um, I'm afraid you can't log in. If you are a Socotra user, please visit us at the booth. We'll give you your login. These are all apps that are available. Now let's go to the Socotra core. Start to underwrite a policy and run into a situation where an, an app integration might be helpful to us. So we're going to underwrite, um, let's do an auto policy. Very simple case. We supply a VIN. It'd be nice to have it automatically populate, make model year, and things like that. Very simple integration. Uh, we like to share this one because this service requires no login. Anyone with Socotra access can do this right away, whereas some of the others require access to our partners. So um, what are we going to do about this? We have an app right here for doing a vehicle lookup. And you can add the app. There's a description and so forth. Click Launch. It's easy as adding on your phone. We have to tell it which Socotra instance we're going to connect to, which version. We're going to do 1.0.0. That'll be important in a moment. And Socotra is multi-tenant. You choose your tenant. Now we have to map fields. Because this app has fields it understands, make model year and so forth. But Socotra is completely flexible. You get to specify your own fields. So you just have to tell the app marketplace which fields map to which ones, save, continue, launch, and our app is live, as easy as that. So let's go ahead and see what difference it made. Now there's a new, once we refresh, now there's a new button that appears right there, run autofill. So let's repeat that same workflow we just did. Put in a VIN. And we see make model year appeared. Fantastic. What are some other things we might want to do to an app? Let's go back. Let's pause that app. This is app is running in our AWS uh, instance. So you don't even have to have, any, have an AWS account. You just add the app. We take care of everything, monitoring, logging, all of that. So we stop the app. Let's go back, refresh, button's gone. We go back. We can restart the app. Let's do something more interesting. Um, you saw a moment ago, what version do we use? 1.0.0. I happen to know there's a version 1.0.1 that adds some additional fields. So let's upgrade our app. Change the version here. This time, when we go to the mapping, there's additional fields, as I mentioned. First one is just make model year. So now we'll populate, populate those fields. Incidentally, what he's doing here, he can search for the fields. It makes automatic suggestions based on fields with similar names. Or he can navigate dynamically through the data model that's been described in Socotra when you, when you create your product. Socotra being flexible, you can describe any insurance product in it.
All right, so let's go ahead and try that again. Today we have 39 customers in seven countries, dozens and dozens of products. Many of them launch products that we don't even know about. They read the documentation, docs.sakochi.com, and they can launch their own products. And there it is, populate the extra fields. Okay, so um, what do we do? We add an app, we stop an app, start an app, um, we upgraded an app. Let's move where the app is running. So I think that we were running this one um, in the US, I believe. Yep, US East. US East. Well, we're in Europe. Let's run the app in Europe. This might be important for data security. We can run it in any AWS availability zone. It's now moving. If we look at the uh, managed apps, we can see that um, we've got a stopped app back in the US. We have a running one here in Europe. And of course, we can remove it. Um, easy enough, click, remove. So what we've done, we demonstrate we have a real app marketplace here. Browse the apps. All of you can do that right now. Add an app, remove an app, pause, restart, upgrade, even move it to a different region. Um, let's take a look at how we create apps, the third tab here, publish. This is for our partners. So here, there's only two steps to publishing an app. You create a listing, and you upload a container that actually contains the app itself. So Victor here is quickly adding all the parameters for, and all the images that um, I trust everyone who's now looking at a phone is looking at right now, because you're looking at App Marketplace. And you see the, um, uh, how many apps do we have right now? 14 production grade right now, and 17 in development. Fantastic. Partners who'd like to join the app ecosystem, please come visit our booth. Got some cool images here for Victor's app. Easy oh. as that, we've created an app listing. Very similar to what you'd see in Apple or Android App Store. And then, Victor, what's left? What yeah. Is, what am I looking at here? The last piece is to deploy your code. And so that uses Docker containers, which means your dev teams can keep using the languages, the frameworks that they want. And then they use a public command line tool that you can find publicly with our public docs to deploy in one click. Fantastic. So I can't overstate how critical this is for insurance IT as you're moving away from monoliths and into an ecosystem-driven, connected future. Thank you, everyone, for your time.